Hi everybody, it's Demo Friday. So every Friday I'll be taping some sort of um, lab experiment. Now today we're doing dyeing Easter eggs and the science behind it. So when you look at a regular egg, it looks like it's smooth, but it's really not. It has lots of little holes or pores, as they say. So the egg shell, which is made of calcium, actually absorbs um, a lot of things through the pores. So in here, we started soaking some eggs already, and these are in a vinegar and water solution. Now, if you look really close, um, you might even be able to see some bubbles inside the solution. That is because vinegar is a weak acid, okay? So when you have the egg soaking in a vinegar and water solution, see there were just some bubbles there. Um, when you soak calcium in a vinegar solution, the acid actually in the vinegar is, excuse my faux pas there, uh, in the vinegar is actually dissolving a little bit of that uh, eggshell, the calcium, okay? So the longer you leave, an egg also into um, the solution, the more that acid in the dye is penetrating that egg. So this one we have left in for quite a few minutes. You can see how dark it is um, versus that, that one's probably been in, oh gosh, I don't know, at least five minutes versus if we just put one in and toss it around a little bit. We're not giving that acid any time to soak into the calcium of that eggshell. So then you can see it's a lot lighter than the other one, right? Because the vinegar did not penetrate the shell of the egg. So um, another thing you can do is use a piece of candle or if you have one of those coloring things, you use a white crayon, thank you, uh, a white crayon or um, a candle and you can make a mas magic message and you can impress your little brothers and sisters or cousins and pretend you're doing something magic. So um, this is um, the wax inside. We already tried one. Look, we, Emily made a magic message. So, or a symbol, it's not a message, but here. Okay. So, so, can you guys see that? <laughs> it's a little star. So, what happened there was, and let's see, I'm going to put this one in. She wrote something on here, so we'll, we'll so, you didn't? Okay, we'll see. We'll see. It'll be a minute. Now I'm going to put it in here. Okay. So, um, what happens is when you apply um, a white crayon or a candle wax, because crayons are candles, um, it creates a barrier in between the shell and um, the weak acid solution. So what that's called is the wax makes the shell hy hydrophobic, which means um, it repels water. Okay, so let's check on our message over here. Let's, let's see. Oh, see, I miss you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and we miss you. We love you. Happy Friday and happy Easter if you celebrate. Bye.